Right. If I can put those fences at the start of my infantry on the hot bar site. <gasps> no. Oh god. No, can't stay on there. That is not safe. Oh, and I'm being attacked by the mage as well. Ah, oh, how great is that? Come on, Martin, get yourself together. Right. What are we aiming for then? I might actually increase surrender distance quickly so that. Oops, normal. So that we can see a bit further and see where this cast is. Still can't see him, but close enough. Right, that's the plan sorted out then. As long as I don't burn to death right now, I'm absolutely fine. Another healing potion might help. There we go. Wait, did he fall down? Where did he go? Oh no, is he, he's come up again. That's not good. I need to get around him. Or just get down here. Come on, down we go, down we go. Oh god, no, this is not good. Right, what else can I drink? Is there any potion I've got? One heart left. Okay, get another apple down us. Come on, work your magic. Work your magic. Go on. Here we go, these things won't be able to get me. Hopefully not anyway. Come on, come on. Be gone, be gone. Again. Come on. No more fire. No more fire. Don't like fire. Oh no. What where did that one come from? I think I should look into magic at some point. I'd be able to summon all these enemies myself and do stuff like this. Right, down we go again. Back into the pit. And we've been followed down again by another summoned undead. Come on, throw something different at me apart from fire. How's he actually set me on fire every single time? This is not good. This is really not good. <laughs> There's a zombie pigman stuck in the stairs by the looks of it. Oh, he's outside. Whew. Lucky he didn't bother coming in. Right, where's this guy then? Let's get him. Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do this. He'll be coming down soon. Right, nearly gone, nearly gone. There we go, he's stuck now, yep. And there we go, so we've got Golden Gut, another one of his robes, and some other stuff. So let's go and raid the other tower. But let's take a better route up than that one. If we go to the little bridge that I made. And I don't mind these guys attacking me because I can take those out quite easily. There we go. Ooh, this looks interesting. Right, into the bag of holding, I'll just put a load of this stuff. There we go. And put that in there as well. Sorted. Right, let's move on to the next section. Right, so some more to take on here. This could be a bit more than I was expecting. I need to watch out for these arrows as well, because one of those can knock me right into the lava and I'll be dead again. Let's not have that happen. You know, there's two doors, guys. You could just go around the other way and kill me, but, you know, you're too stupid for that. It's a good thing about the undead. They're not the cleverest bunch. Out quickly. Where's the archer gonna come from then? Is he gonna be out the same door again? Yep, he is. Right, come on, quickly, 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 quickly. Taking him, yes. Is that another archer? No, it's just a normal one. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Get somewhere safe, get somewhere safe. 
Have another apple. Have another apple. Please save me. Please save me. Oh, I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Unless there's another pigment in here. Nope. How did I manage to survive that? How? It's so shocking, even the laptop nearly broke in that. Blooming heck. Right. No rest for the wicked. Let's keep going. And some more useful equipment there. Oh, and another load of stuff. There we go. So, let's just put all that back in. What I'm doing here is just holding down space and left clicking, and it moves all of my inventory into my bag of holding. It's really useful. It works with all chests on here as well. So that's why I do it. Right, let's get this guy taken out. There we go. So that's another building clear. Let's head down, and that's something actually I've noticed. You can store water in cauldrons on here, but you can't put water down anywhere else in the nether. Okay, I'll bear that in mind next time I'm around. I don't think never jumping into a cauldron really saves your life, though. It'd be good if it did, but I don't think it does. Apples. Wood and stuff like that, that's all good. And another chest. I need to work out what that stuff does. Um, what does it use for? Various intricate things, I'd imagine. I'm not too sure. It's a part of a kind of no, a weird mod, that uh, metallurgy or whatever it's called. It had its uses, but I'm not too sure what those uses are yet. And the last few bits from the chest. That's pretty good. We've cleared a massive area out here. So if we head back over to the larvary area again, you can see there's some kind of almost hut type bit in the middle. I don't know what that is apart from a spawner there. They can come to me and I'll take those out in here. Right. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. There we go. Got his loot. And we're going to survive this, aren't we? I think so. I can take this guy out. There we go. Come on. Into the lava. Not that the lava does anything, but it's just nice to get rid of him. And another. Go on. Die here. Anybody else around shooting at me? I'm sure I've been hit from somewhere. No? Alright, it's all good then. And I believe this is where I got the chest last time. Oh, little zombie pigman baby. Oh god, my health. How lucky am I? Blooming heck. Right, well, I think now would be a good point to leave for never and recover a bit of health and see what we've actually managed to loot. So come back in the next episode, guys, where I'll be doing just that. And I've, this is going to take me out somewhere completely random, so I'll journey back in between episodes. But thank you all very, very much for watching. Please drop a like, share, and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.